Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. We have reports that Meghan and Harry are now fiercely vetting staff to stop leaks. So, I, you know, I wonder about that. I worked in government. There were constant leaks. They would always uh, say to us, the employees, uh, you better not talk to the press. You better not tell anybody this or that. And then the next morning, it would come out that everything they told us not to say was leaked to the press. And this happened all the time. So Megan also notoriously has huge problems with her, you know, dealing with staff. Everybody quits around her. You know, the just the top people, everyone quits because she's just unbearable. I mean, there's just like a stream of like 20 people who quit because Megan was impossible to work with and so i think she stomps around being very imperious and acting like she's better than everybody and people can't stand it you have to be human you have to act like a human and that creates a lot of bad feelings and and it really encourages people to leak plus you know to to go behind their back and leak out secrets to the media uh, plus, they, they have royal security. Okay, Charles is still paying for the royal security while they're constantly criticizing him, uh, you know, doing a tribute to Diana and doing a tribute to Doria and forgetting Mr. Markle and forgetting Charles, who is literally funding their whole, you know, juvenile life at this point. So let's look at leaking problems among Megan's staff let's just kind of get a feel for what's going on here how bad is it communication because you know Harry did not have these problems, you know, uh, disloyal staff. He had, he had good staff. He had a, a, a high counselor, a right-hand guy who shepherded him through the Nazi, uh, the Nazi Halloween costume, who shepherded him through uh, making remarks that were interpreted as bigoted while he was in the army, uh, the, the naked billiards in Vegas. That guy was beside him the whole time. He had his staff around him, and they really took care of him, and it was from birth, okay? And then Megan came along, and everybody just leaves. Uh, even the helicopter pilot can't tolerate this. I'm not going to fly in the middle of the night to get snickerdoodles because you just don't understand what I do. And the plane could crash, and you would be like, you would only care that you didn't get your snickerdoodles and I would be dead. So how bad is the leaking problem? So Nine Diamonds is communication and media player making a play very publicly to the media. 20, 33, nine hearts. It's a big deal. Uh, ruler, crown, hmm. So this, these may be crown employees. This may be the security people. Uh, but yes, there are, def there are definitely leaks. And Nine Hearts, it's a really big deal. And she's, they're trying to shut it down. Uh, and it's the people very closest to them. I kind of lean towards the security people, which we're going to ask if it's the security people, because these are directly, uh, you know, they, they work for the crown. Their loyalty is to the crown. That's the basis of this reading. Fox moving the pieces around. The key is too many people around, and there are foxes among the chickens. Uh, and working together with others. So there may be sort of a, uh, a pattern, uh, a plan to discredit. Yeah, so I'm looking here. This, there may be sort of a plan. These people, they work for the crown. It's a big problem. Nine hearts, it's a really big problem. 
communicating to publicly, yeah, and it's people that are that have been around them for a very long time. These trusted people, yeah, uh, but their loyalty is to the crown. Uh, there's too many people around them, and there are foxes among the chickens. Yeah. So let's look at, is there a plan to discredit uh, Meghan and Harry? Is there sort of some kind of a plan being executed? Because this looks like a plan to me. Is there some kind of organized effort to leak out information that is not helpful to the per the image of Megan. Megan is really concerned about her image, but Harry also is. You have to be concerned about your image because they're all about public relations. Uh, but I, no one is more concerned with their image than than Megan. So is there is there an organized plan being executed? That would be interesting. Okay, so the King of Spades is the longest... The King of Spades and the Queen of Spades are the longest planning cards. Let's see. Angel, Straight Razor, Cornucopia. 1920, five spades. So it's one-offs one in the situation. It's all well-meaning, but it's one-offs, and it's in the situation. So on the surface... Everybody's in denial mode. Let's see. Messages. Water into wine and city. Transforming what the world thinks. And there's a... Oh, there's another card here. King of spades, four spades, and three hearts. Uh, very ruthlessly revealing secrets, but in a sweet way. Hmm. This again adds 25 spades. So there is a bit of a plan. There's a messaging plan. There is an effort to reveal secrets. There is an effort and to transform their image in the world. But on the surface, it's all just like, oops, you know, I meant well. Oops, I meant well. Uh, and that just happened. But there is a plan. So is there a plan? There is, there is a plan that someone... Some group of people, three diamonds, are carrying out a plan. They're committed to discrediting Ma Meghan and Harry. How is Meghan getting along with her staff? Because she very famously, it's impossible for her to get along with her staff, and that's the problem. And so many people were leaving. You know, all the people who, uh, they were, I guess they're called palace aides, they're basically courtiers. All the courtiers left. All of them. One after another. All the nannies were fired. One after another. Because they didn't have Archie. Uh, but it, it's just one after another after another. The helicopter pilot. The, the Scotland Yard security lady. Everybody left. So is Megan getting along better with staff? Has she learned her lesson and you know, trying to be a better boss or whatever. Megan, how is her relationships with staff? Staff. What is her relationships with staff? So manifesting bad relationships on an ongoing basis. 23, six clubs. So I threw these cards. They were on the bottom. They were shadow cards. So on an ongoing basis, as things come up, she is, she's just creating bad feelings among the staff because I think it's her attitude. She's committed to working well with people, six uh, two diamonds. She's, she's made a, she's trying to work well with people. 
And what do we have here? Cornerstone, solid foundation, reacting, three blackbirds, eight and four, 12, conflict. She is always reacting to, she's not an actor, she is an actress, but she's someone who is always reacting to things. I think she feels that she has no choice. She feels jealousy, and so she reacts by doing this or that. Uh, she, she says, oh, she didn't like what somebody says, so she reacts. She's a reactor. And what is going on is it's the reacting. I'm not sure she's able to change this very much, but she is making an effort. What's over here with the staff? Man is honest, direct action <coughs> in the inheritance, 2328. Decisions, okay, so the, the staff is just trying to do their job in a very honest, very straightforward way, making decisions that benefit them. The man is showing that the, the king of hearts has no ill intentions, they're not scheming. Megan is trying, she's really making an effort to get along well with staff. And I think, you know, if she's making an effort, she's going to do better. She's not, you know, being really nasty to people like she used to be and capricious and nasty. And, uh, and I really think that's what she was doing because I've worked for people like that. Uh, I'll give you a quick example. I worked at this place and that's the shortest government job I ever had. But I, I was eating a banana one morning because I would eat, I would, you know, I bear, I just have a cup of coffee and just something, something very small. That's how I used to eat breakfast my whole life until I left the government, until I retired. So I'm eating a banana and the comptroller, I was working in the comptroller's office doing the general ledger uh, for this long. And he saw me eating a banana. He called me into his office. He called me on the carpet. He screamed at me for 10 minutes about eating a banana. Okay, was I impressed? No. I immediately thought to myself, I got to get a, I got to get out of here. This guy's crazy. Okay, because there's nothing wrong with eating a banana. Then he said, "You no drinking coffee at work." Are you kidding me? I don't work outside. We sit at desks. And and the other idiots in the place, they tried to not drink coffee. It's the dumbest thing. That's the kind of crap that I think Megan is doing. And I had only been at the job for like 3 months. And I immediately thought to myself, I'm just going to leave. I'm going to get another job because this guy's crazy. Uh, I wasn't impressed. I didn't want to not eat bananas. I didn't want to not drink coffee. I'm going to drink coffee and I'm going to have a little something for breakfast. I guess it's not going to be a banana. Uh, like there's some problem with that. And, and then the next week, the next Monday... This lady who was training me on the property program, she sat in the exact same seat and she ate a banana and he came in. She was eating a banana in the exact same spot, very slowly, uh, and the comptroller came in. He didn't say nothing. And I even said to him afterwards, I'm like, you know, she was eating a banana. He didn't say nothing. It's all BS. And that's the kind of crap that I think Megan is doing to people. It's just completely arbitrary. And you're like... That has nothing to do with bananas. That has nothing to do with coffee. You're crazy. Okay, so in the day-to-day, -day, she's just creating problems. Uh, and it's because she's always reacting. But the staff is not looking angry. The staff is not looking like, you know, I'm going to tell you what to do with this banana, Megan. You know, they're not, they don't look like that. They look like, She's she's trying to do better, but she's still creating problems. On and on, she because she's so reactive. Uh, she she believes she's reacting. That's how she's she's passive aggressively reacting, and people hate it. So now one of the obvious leaks would be royal security. Uh, and Roy, you know Charles is paying these people their royal security. Uh, and maybe they're, I'm not sure where, like here in the U.S. we have Secret Service. Uh, maybe they're official, like Secret Service. They're palace guard kind of people. They're, they're government employees. I don't know. Uh, they just might be, and they probably should be. So are the royal security 
reporting back to Charles and the Queen and Buckingham Palace. Because that's the really obvious, that's the really obvious leak. Okay, woman, heart, doing what's best in the situation. 12, 13, four hearts. They are, okay, and light, butterfly. Butterfly is very public, butterfly. We need to relate it to the other cards. So uh, keeping everything light uh, and on the surface. So on the surface, they're keeping everything light. They're having a good relationship. But under the surface, huge outside influences on an ongoing basis. This is how they do it. Okay, they're being influenced from the outside. Scapegoat is another outside. Big changes from the outside and on an, on an ongoing basis. So palace security is constantly, this is how they do it. Palace security is constantly reporting to the queen and Charles and going outside the relationship. But when they're with uh, Meghan and Harry, they're... You know, they're like family members, four hearts. Uh, everything is for their benefit. They keep everything light. They don't tell them a lot of stuff. So they keep their lips buttoned and they do their job, which is how you should do your job. Unless you're a YouTuber and your job is to talk. Uh, so, but they're constantly going outside. So a huge leak, the huge leak is royal, is the royal security. They're constantly reporting back to the palace and the queen because they view that as their job. That's their job. Uh, but they don't tell Meghan and Harry any of this. Which, so, and again, that wasn't a problem for Harry in the past until he married Meghan because Harry was working with the crown and now they're working against the crown. So the crown is going to be getting advance notice all the time of, of, what they're doing with Netflix, what they're doing with their podcast. And by the way, why haven't Harry and Meghan made another podcast? They just made one. Why haven't they made 10 more podcasts? Why aren't they putting out three podcasts a week? I mean, it's not one and done. Okay, what you did is worth one penny, not $100 million. Get on the ball and put the work in. Okay. Let's the general leak is it a it's a big big problem and it's based in it's based in the crown nine hearts this adds nine hearts thirty three okay there's too many people around them and they are working with others and they're really kind of clever about it so it's people who've been with them a long time so it's the it's definitely the it's definitely royal security okay up here we looked at the staff. She's getting along with staff better, and she's really making an effort. But because she's so reactive, she is creating problems among the staff constantly. But you can say things like, I'm sorry, you can make up for it, you can give treats and whatnot. So she's doing that. She's really making an effort because this is a big security issue. If the people are unhappy around you, they're not going to be loyal to you. Okay, so and finally she's realized this and they're making an effort to keep these relationships good. And they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Megan is a diva. She's too reactive and she's, she is creating problems on an ongoing basis. Uh, with her words and actions in the situation. But she's a lot better than she was. She's not going to be sending the helicopter pilot off on all kinds of stupid errands, uh, which is not what the helicopter pilot is there for. <clears throat> all right, so this is... Is there a plan, an organized plan? On the surface, no, but yes, there clearly is to change their public percept, the perception of them. Uh, there's coffin here, uh, but it's all every, look at the, the two hearts on the outside, very sweet and innocent and helpful. And all the dark cards are in the middle. So on, 
everything is hidden. It's very hidden. There is a master plan, but it's very hidden. It's very cloak and dagger. It's very, it's done very ruthlessly and professionally. So there are leaks. The main leak is, uh, is palace security. And that's enough. You just need like one person leaking. It is a big problem. There is a master plan. She is getting along better with the staff. So I don't think it's really the staff. It's definitely the security and the people close, most closely connected who have been the longest working in the palace and in the royal palace among the royals. It's those people. Okay, the people planted. Like uh, the queen gave Meghan... Uh, that woman, uh, what's her name? But she was like, she ran the courtiers. She ran the palace staff. And she only, she'd she been in the palace for 15 years and then she quit uh, because Meghan was so unbearable. Those kind of people who've been among, you know, in the, among the royals for, for years and years and years, those are the people that are the problem. So the people who've been longest among the royals and are now working for Meghan and Harry, these are the people. And Meghan got rid of Harry's top advisor who shepherded him through his whole life, okay, until he met Meghan. What was Meghan doing? She was getting rid of the people, the support network for Harry. But those people are still around. And they're not, they haven't gotten rid of all of them. Those people are still around, and those are the people causing the problems, the people loyal to the crown. So, and the security, they're, they're, they're the most loyal. They've been around the longest, and they're the most loyal. And that's kind of how government works. You know, the, the top people leave uh, with the administrations changing, but everyone else, even very highly paid people, very powerful people, uh, they stay. And they stay administration after administration after administration. Now, I know what that's like. I was one of those people. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author, Plague and Card, Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe.